Hello guys, so uh, I had this idea for a while now and uh, this is the moment when I put it in practice. The idea was making a YouTube channel and yesterday when I was coming home through the park I found these beautiful mushrooms. These are poplar field caps. I'm pretty sure you don't know what these are, I mean you didn't hear about them, but I will uh, show them to you in a minute and explain to you exactly what I will do with it. Basically I will make a meal out of it, these are the ingredients and uh, without any further ado, let's hop into it. So let's talk a little bit about this mushroom before I start preparing it. So it's called the Popper Field Cap and uh, I never actually ate it before. I found it yesterday as I have told you and uh, I was very curious to see how it tastes like. You can see that it is very big and it grows in these clusters. You can see the picture here. Uh, it has gills. It has a, it is very it has a strong texture to it. And I break it. You can see it has a beautiful white meat and it smells very good actually. And it also has these rings on it. This one doesn't have it because I cut it a little above the, the rings. But you can see on the small ones that uh, it has rings. And it has this brownish color to it. And it has a very good smell. It has that really good mushroomy smell to it, you know. Okay, so uh, let's start cutting it and uh, let's get to making the meal. Before cooking the mushrooms, always remember to wash and clean them thoroughly before uh, cutting them in pieces. In this case, I decided to cut the mushrooms in these bigger pieces so that the form and the texture of the mushroom is much more visible in the dish and I also have something to bite on. You can see in the next clip the beautiful white meat of the mushroom and uh, this bigger size won't be any problem later on because they will shrink as they lose the moisture from them. So these are the ingredients I will be using for the meal. I am using uh, olive oil, pepper that I will be grinding with this grinder, parsley, paprika, some cream, four of uh, this garlic, two bay leaves, two onions, and two of these beautiful red sweet peppers and of course salt you don't forget about salt you always have to salt it a little bit this type of red pepper i usually cut in four before cutting them in these smaller pieces the onions and the garlic i'm also cutting in these smaller pieces and after i am finished i am uh, throwing everything together with the red pepper in the hot frying pan you always need to be stirring everything so that nothing burns on the hot pan and when you see the onions and the pepper softening up you can put in the grind paprika and when you can smell the paprika cooking then you need to cool it down with a little preheated water so that it's not burning because if the paprika burns then it will give the whole meal a bitter taste. Now I am uh, throwing in the two bay leaves and after that I am throwing in the cut mushrooms. As the mushrooms are cooking, I am seasoning everything with a little salt and uh, right before taking it off the fire, I am putting in the finely cut parsley leaves and a little black pepper. I am putting it in the end so that the aroma of the pepper and the parsley is not getting lost and to finish it all up, I am putting in this white cream and mixing everything together. So, I have finished with my meal, look at this, look how beautiful it looks, and the smell of it, I'm telling you, it's phenomenal. Basically you can serve this with uh, bread or even mashed potatoes. I made a little polenta, so that it's more traditional, 
I put a few parsley leaves for the presentation. That's about it. The smell is phenomenal. Let me see how it tastes. It has a very sweet, mushroomy taste to it. I highly recommend you trying it. I will leave in the description all the information I can find about it so you can also look it up for yourself. And I also highly recommend you trying this recipe with any other mushroom you can find in the wild or uh, any other edible mushroom you can find in the wild or in the grocery store. And uh, hit the like button if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it, and subscribe for future videos and uh, I will finish my meal and I will see you in the next one.